Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick swatch party video on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. This one I was kind of on the fence about because again, everyone's just like, oh my god, those shades are weird. Like, what is up with ABH? They're just releasing stuff for the sake of releasing stuff. And I had just reviewed the three palettes, the Modern Renaissance, Soft Glam, and the Norvina palette. The Norvina one being the most recent. I kind of wanted to get a review out to you guys before I received the Sultry one because those had all been on the back burner for so long and I had just basically told you guys I love those three palettes, I recommend them, I call them the triple threat because they're all that good. I think each of them has their own merits and together they work amazing so I just thought they were a bomb combination of palettes and then they really sneak peeks of this and I was like oh god well that's something so I've worn this palette twice so far I'm trying to create looks without getting into the bloom shade because I feel like that's like the most obvious shade that people will try to use in this palette so far I love the shimmers they are true to ABH form I just really am not a fan of the mattes you guys I wish there was more variety in this palette I know like it's a cool tone person's dream. I think you know cool tone people also deserve to have something that can be their go-to palette in every li lineup like every brand lineup but I swear the problem with this palette is all the shimmers to me feel like warm shades and then they put these like really cool tone mattes so it sucks because I'm having a hard time figuring out what to pair these gorgeous shimmer shades with. There's actually a shade down here and I have like this black swatch on my hand, but let me tell you the colors. So the first shade is called Fresh, which is like a matte brow bone, always a good essential. Pearl is beautiful, Steampunk, Rose Quartz, and Ember are the first five shades I have swatched on my hand. And you guys, I did like a soft, soft look with this palette the other day and it turned out so beautiful. It was so unlike me because I'm always like about the dramatic foiled shadows, but it looked so beautiful and I was like, wow, that's different for me. I don't know how much more I can do with this palette. I and mean, just like these cool tone shades are really throwing me off. So here are the next five shades. So Bloom is like the one everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I have not, like I said, I'm trying not to use that one. I want to try and use the other shades first. So Bloom didn't swatch the greatest, but I also used my pinky, so let me try and build that up for you so you can see the shade. But I do think that'll be gorgeous in the crease. So we have Bloom, we have Birch, which is what I've been using for when I want a warm tone crease shade, but it's a little too light still for my skin tone. Cider is gorgeous, of course. Twig is, again, like a grayish brown shade. And then we have Teak. So I love the shimmers, I really, really do, but the mattes are killing me. So there's a shade called Dystopia, which is like, it's kind of like a neutral brown, but it's too dark for me to put all over my crease. I feel like it would just not work. And then there's this gray shade called Slate and then more. So not a lot of options in the crease category for me. I don't know, I feel like this is like almost a palette you wanna buy because the shimmer shades are so freaking stunning. So those are all the swatches, get a good look. Pause the video if you need to. But yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matte shades and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shimmer shades. So, you know, equal parts shimmers and mattes but oh god I wish they had done more with the, with the matte shades it's given me like one more matte shade for my crease oh my gosh I love the shimmers so that is everything for my swatch party video I will have a review up as soon as I can like I said I've worn the palette twice so far but I like to you know try and wear all the colors before I can give you guys a review. So bear with me and I will catch you on my next video. I upload every other day. So you get quite a bit of content from me and usually I upload at 7 a.m. Central Time. So I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys.